right, so let's begin. The three main items in which you need to pro um, polish your Pro shoes is water. And now this can be cold or warm. I try both, it doesn't really make a difference. However, uh, just to make it more practical, I use cold. So you can use it anywhere you go. Kiwi polish. Um, you might have heard rumours by now that parade gloss melts and stuff. I mean, actually, I haven't seen any evidence of that. But still, nevertheless, I use just a black quality one. So that's sweet. Right, and of course, your cloth. As you can see, I've used it quite often to get this result. Right, for some people, you may use cotton buds. You can use the same thing. It doesn't really make a difference. However, I tend to use this. Right, let's begin. First tip. You need to get your cloth, wrap it around any finger, any finger, you can use both to whatever. I use my index, wrap it around, get all the, ex, get all the excess, and just keep it in my hand. So it's quite a, f um, a fixed position, just like that. Right, then, the most important bit, you want to get your cold water or warm water, and dip it in, and fully submerge it. You should be able to feel it on your finger. Now, the excess part, dry most of it because you see it's not the water that makes it shine it's the polish hence why it's called polish <laughs> right so open your pit up and just get a fingertip full like that. no more no more than that in fact I would have been following like this pre submerge it in water and let's begin right let's move this up all right I'm going to start on my left shoe, since it's not as good as the right, so I'm just going to move this out the way for now. Right, in the same fixed position, I'm going to begin to apply polish in small circles around the entire toe cap of the shoe. So, from on the back, I'm going to do small circles like that. And the first thing you're going to see is that it goes a sort of matte black colour and this may be hard on you but it's one step closer to getting a shiny shoe make sure it goes all over and you can see patterns like swirl patterns of start up here see slight water drops and it doesn't look great does it that's all gonna go the best thing I can say to you is keep doing these small patterns. Make sure you get everywhere, even the fronts like that, around the left, around the back again, and right, around the right, and back on top. You'll start to see that the swirls become less and less dominant. They start to disappear. Anywhere that has still got swirls, go over them a few times. I'm sure they're going to go away. Now, if you see your first parade shoes and they're matte black to start off with, don't expect shine straight away, alright? I can't elaborate, elaborate that enough. You're going to do at least four, this four times until you start to see a slight, a slight change, okay? But I've been doing this for two years and you can see how mine are slightly shinier. So it won't be the method, it'd be the duration, okay? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Make sure there's nothing left. I'm quite I'm fairly happy with that. Right, so I'll show you what it looks like. As you can see, not much stains left. And on the right, on the left. That's fairly cool, I'm happy with that. Now to finish off each layer, especially before it's your last one, I'm going to do vertical movements along the whole side of the shoe. Now this just gets rid of any marks, anything at all. Quite slowly, it doesn't have to be fast. And it creates quite a nice pattern on top, more of a uniformed pattern you can see. Over the top, over the top, make sure you get the front as well. And this is just an extra sort of polishing move uh, I tend to do, it's quite, it's quite effective. There you go, that's one layer done. As you can see, quite significant, it's quite a nice change. And I'm happy with that. Right, now, I'm going to move to the upper body now, okay? Similar thing, it's the same thing, except what you're doing here, you just done here. 
it's no difference at all. You might want a bit more polish perhaps, but other than that, it's the same thing. Right, I'm happy with the left foot, so I'm going to go on to the right. Same process. Right, let's move this here. Put this one back here. Right, let's tuck the laces in. Sweet. First step, excess cloth. I paint dust away. Cool, nice. Now, I put around the finger as we did, start again. You can use a different part. I recommend you use the same part, but anyway. Open up, index finger or any finger, whatever. You could do it like this or whatever. Don't do any of that scalp nonsense, alright, please. You can have a bit of dignity. Right, so, index finger. Wrap it around tightly. Let the excess bit loose if you like. And I usually put it underneath the table, but it's fine. Make sure it's tight. Submerge the entire thing in your cold or warm water. You should be able to feel the water come through. Alright, and with the excess one, slightly dry it. Pin prick of polish. It sounds odd, but the less polish. Not only will it be quicker to do, the more effective it's going to look. Right? So that's it. Slight dip in water. Just damp it. And let's begin. Right. As we did before. And the back. Small, small circles. See, the smaller you do them, the more shiny they're going to become. Because you focus on a particular point for a longer time period. All the way around. I'm in back on the right. And around the back. That's one little bit. Go forward a bit. Same thing. Just like that. And as usual, we begin to see the slight matte black appearance. Just like that. Okay. You also might have realised that there are very small micro droplets of water on there. And that can mean one of two things. One, there's too much water. Or two, you just haven't rubbed it in long enough. It's, either way, it's not too much of an issue. The water certainly makes it a lot easier to do. Since it's more, it's less, sorry, it's less friction on the shoe. And it lets you slide easier. Keep going. The more you... Go over the water droplets, you'll notice the more they divide. See now, if you can just see it, very small now. Very small, they're the black things you can just see. Right, keep going over it, keep going over it. Don't be tempted to find a new piece of cloth on, and then go over it. It will certainly get rid of the polish, but you might lose that shine effect. You might smudge it, I don't want that, so I'm going to keep doing this. You see how it's just very fragrant. You can speed up as more as you like. It doesn't matter about the velocity of it. Just the size of the circles. And make sure you just get everywhere, pretty much. Keep going, keep going. And it's starting to go away now. So, let's show you one more time. Look at that. Eat your heart out, I tell you. Alright, there you go. I mean, this has certainly impressed, you know, the officers to have a more required taste in for issues, alright? So, keep going, keep going, finish off, right, it's cool. As before, start on the left, alright, I do left. Vertical movements. Just over the top. Gets rid of any, you know, dust that might have landed while you're doing this. And it gives it quite a nice pattern, as mentioned before. Keep going. Round the front, perhaps. Round the back. Keep doing the back. I just finish it off with a quick, quick shine like that. And that's your shoe done. Right. There we have it. Two shoes done in just under 10 minutes. Pretty happy with those. I'm sure the boss will too. Right. I'll use this extra time just to disclose any myths. Myth number one. Scratching your shoes or scuffing completely ruins your shoes. False. I've scuffed your shoes many times, alright? Each one's significant, leaving dents and all that. 
it's literally the case of going over the polish, same methods as I went with you. So if there's one here, I just focus on that area. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It may take two layers, but don't be disheartened, it's normal. And make sure you get the guy who done it back, all right? I just like, kick a shoe once in a while, it'll be fine. All right, so, just make sure it goes like that. I just go over the same method as normal. It's, it looks terrible at start, but once you've finished, perfect, brand new. Um, like I said, pre, at the start, parade gloss, doesn't really matter what you do. I guess it makes it shinier, depending when, depending how you do it, really. Um, cotton wool makes no difference if you use that or this. I just, I feel it, I think it's nicer. I like it cringe down when I touch it, so I try to, try to get away with that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, um, bound it in, um, in the box and um, if you've got any comments anything you want me to focus on next time in the video um please don't be shy just put one down and i saw anything i'm planning on doing an ironing video make sure you know how to iron a uniform which is most important actually more important than these i've got to say if i'm honest and um any questions about cadets any newcomers i know in my school didn't have a few newcomers any quite any questions don't be afraid to ask sweet um cool see you